A new area clearance strategy specifically for the machining of blisks and impellers has been introduced for Paramil 2013. This new uh, roughing strategy is based on a trochoidal motion to clear away the material between the blades. Presently this new trochoidal method does not support splitter blades. Let's take a look at this new trochoidal method on the example part displayed. If we open up the settings for the Blisk Area Clearance strategy and take a look at the machining page, we can see that under the method option we have a new trochoidal method. To go along with this new method we also have a new set of parameters for the trochoids themselves and we have the radius of the trochoid that we would like to use, this is the radius in the corners of the trochoid and we also have a minimum radius setting which is the minimum radius we will allow the trochoid to use so this uh, comes into play when we are trying to go through narrow sections between blades for example and then we have the connection clearance. This is the uh, retract distance for the return move of the trochoid where it's actually not cutting any material, it's just getting back to the start of the next trochoidal pass. And finally we have an overlap which is in conjunction with the connection clearance is the distance that the trochoid will overlap the previous pass. So let's calculate uh, the toolpath. The rest of the parameters are the same uh, as previously in previous versions. Uh, we have to define the step over, the step down of uh, the trochoidal pass and also what, whether we want to merge from top to bottom of the blades or use offset up style or an offset down style as before. So you can see now it's starting to build up the trochoidal path uh, using a merge option in this case. If I just switch that back on and close our strategy form. So it's very difficult to see what's happening there because there's a lot of toolpath on the screen so let me just deactivate that toolpath and activate one that has been pre-created which is just a single pass. So let's simulate that from the start so we can see the actual motion, the trochoidal motion, and then play that simulation. So we can see now it's uh, working its way up the blade using that trochoidal motion. Now you'll notice that depending upon the uh, step over we've defined it may also introduce some circular moves to pick away at the next trochoidal pass to make sure the tool is not getting overloaded uh, at the start of the, the next pass. So to finish off we'll okay, simulate from the start again this time with the complete pass and then we'll go across to the high resolution view mill and simulate from the start again. 